हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल विद लक्ष्मी एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज इट्स अबाउट आइल्स व्हिच इज द इंटरनेशनल इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ट्रेनिंग सिस्टम इट इज अ टेस्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज प्रोफिशिएंसी एंड वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स मोस्ट पॉपुलर एंड रिस्पेक्टेड फॉर्म्स ऑफ इंग्लिश इन एजुकेशन एंड माइग्रेशन देर आर टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मॉड्यूल्स इन इट and uh, first is academic and second is general training the speaking and listening tests are the same in both modules but the reading and writing tests are different so guys um, you know that uh, nowadays there is a trend that uh, everyone wants to go abroad uh, like uh, their reason is different so lots of reasons are there like uh, experience different styles of education some of uh, wants to go for their higher studies and uh, the next one is immerse yourself in a culture and you just want to uh, see yourself in a different culture and uh, you just want to see the world and um, develop your language skills the next one is you are not visiting you are living and uh, another one is career and educational opportunities because uh, people think that uh, there are lots of uh, uh, opportunities rather than india the next one reason is find new interests because uh, lots of uh, you know opportunities are there people wants to do different types of things in their life and the last one is make lifelong friends so as i told you that there are four papers in ielts reading listening writing and speaking so firstly i just want to tell you about reading tips it is very important and uh, lots of things we just have to concentrate in it firstly don't expect to understand every word like uh, if you uh, you are reading reading a paragraph and uh, you just uh, want to catch every meaning of a word that Uh, it is very wrong don't expect to understand every word the second is practice your reading skills not your ielts skills like if you want to uh, clear your uh, ielts exam you just uh, want to do practice your reading skills not to concentrate on your ielts skills the third one is read the instructions very carefully if you read the all the instructions very carefully then you can uh, complete or finish your reading paragraphs very cons- with concentrate the fourth one is don't panic if you are not getting understand what is going on and what is uh, what is in the paragraph so don't panic the next one is it's really a vocabulary test next one is timing is crucial and uh, ignore anything you already know about the topic practice slow and fast don't try to understand the full passage you don't need to understand the full passage you just uh, skim through the passages like if firstly you you should uh, read the questions after it you should uh, try all the questions the second last one is six skimming and scanning you just to do, do skimming and scanning and the last one is develop your speed reading skills you just to develop your uh, speed reading skills rather than you yeah, are rather than you are yeah, rather than develop your ielts skills the third one is listening tips and uh, listening is also a important part in ielts and uh, like uh, if you are listening something or and listening in this listening you just have to concentrate on what the speaker is saying firstly in this part you just have to concentrate on what the speaker is saying you just follow the speaker path and fill the answer sheet because all the answers you will get in the speaker recording third one is word types uh, skip over the questions and decide which type of word fits in in each gap plug in the situation try to get an idea of situation and uh, next one is don't lose attention if you lose attention you can't get uh, you know proper marks in the listening 
which is very important for you and uh, the next one is watch out words indicators don't write under answers too quickly if you you know if you will hurry in the listening you will lose marks in the listening the next one is check your silly mistakes and uh, transfer answers accurately if you don't accurate transfer your answer in the answer sheet you can lose your marks don't leave any blank answers if you leave any blank answers in your in, in your answer sheet you will not go in a negative way but if you don't leave any blank answers you just uh, if you are have an idea of answer and you will put and you will fit um, uh, answer in the answer sheet it is okay if you if you leave blank then it will not okay the second last one is listen to english every day and the last one is don't book until you are confident the third one is the writing which is very important uh, and um, if you if you are interested in ielts just then you you have to concentrate on this um, section because it is very essential and it plays a significant role in ielts like uh, it is also two types of firstly is academic writing and second is general writing academic and general there is no difference between but in the general in like uh, you will uh, you just have to do um, not essay a letter in academic writing there will be two tasks and time limit is two tasks 60 minutes you just have to do everything in 60 minutes don't spend more than 20 minutes on task 1 always write over 150 words for task 1 and over 250 words for task 2 don't count the number of words count the lines and estimate your word count the second last one is you can plan your essay on the question paper like uh, firstly what you have to write in the first paragraph and the second paragraph how you can write your essay in different ways like different uh, effective ways which type of vocabulary you have to use the last one is always write a clear overview for task 1 academic and the last one section is speaking which is very essential for everyone because speaking is the most important part of ielts because in this part you just have to give you just have to give your exam in the front of examiner now but nowadays it's quite easy because you just book your ielts uh, exam date on online and you can give this exam online but if you are giving this exam online then also you have to sit uh, in front of examiner through a video camera so firstly don't memorize answers for speaking skills uh, and the second one is don't use big and unfamiliar words if you know like in a proper way what is the meaning of this word then you should use it in your speaking skills third one is use a range of grammatical structures and uh, don't worry about your accent and pause to think and avoid using filters Um, too much filters if you are using you are losing your marks firstly you just have to think that avoid using filters extend your answers you just have to extend your answers how many ways you can um, speak in in different ways and uh, what but which type of vocabulary you have to use in your speaking and your vocabulary should be you know very easy in a easy way like small and simple words if you use in your speaking it is very good speaking then smile next one is smiling helps pronunciation and the second last one is don't speak in a monotone you just have if you are sitting in a front of a speaker and 
you are giving your speaking test then don't speak in a monotone you should sit in an active way the last one is practice on IELTS common topic in, in nowadays lots of the topics um, in the IELTS exam you can watch videos and um, PDF Metro also uh, is available on Wikipedia so if you have to do practice then you should choose uh, or select IELTS common topic which is very easy and to gain name and fame at last viewers thank you and if you like the content please like the video and subscribe to my channel